In the 79th year of the Common Era, a cataclysm of unprecedented proportions unfolded as Mount Vesuvius, situated in the heart of Italy, unleashed its fury upon the surrounding landscape. This momentous volcanic eruption, etched into the annals of history, wrought devastation upon the once thriving Roman cities of Pompeii, Herculaneum, Oplantis, and Stabiae. The ensuing deluge of molten lava, suffocating ash, and blistering gases engulfed these urban centers, leaving in its wake a scene of desolation and despair. Beneath the smothering shroud of ash and debris, the remnants of a bygone era lay entombed. Among the ruins of once grand edifices and bustling thoroughfares, a treasure trove of ancient artistry and intellectual prowess remained concealed. It was amidst this bleak tableau that the poignant tale of discovery and preservation began to unfold. Deep within the bowels of the earth, amidst the ruins of Herculaneum, lay buried a villa that would one day come to be known as the Villa of the Papyri. Its existence, shrouded in obscurity for centuries, was brought to light in the mid-18th century by the fortuitous happenstance of an ordinary farmer's plow striking ancient stone. Little did he realize that his mundane agricultural toil would herald the unearthing of one of antiquity's greatest treasures. The villa's subterranean chambers yielded a veritable trove of ancient scrolls, preserved in a state of remarkable integrity despite the passage of millennia. Over 1,800 of these delicate artifacts, their parchment blackened by the inferno that had consumed their surroundings, lay concealed at a depth of 20 meters beneath the surface. Shielded from the ravages of time by the absence of oxygen, these precious documents stood as silent sentinels, guarding the wisdom and knowledge of ages past. For generations, scholars and historians alike had been tantalized by the prospect of unlocking the secrets held within these ancient texts. The scrolls, bearing witness to the intellectual ferment of classical antiquity, represented a singular opportunity to peer into the minds of the past. Among their number, works attributed to luminaries such as the philosopher Philodemus, the poet Cassilius Statius, and the Stoic sage Chrysippus offered invaluable insights into the philosophical and literary landscape of the ancient world. Central to the corpus of texts recovered from the Villa of the Papyri was the philosophy of Stoicism, a venerable school of thought that extolled the virtues of reason, resilience, and moral rectitude. Rooted in the teachings of figures such as Zeno of Sidium and Epictetus, Stoicism provided a framework for navigating the trials and tribulations of life with equanimity and grace. Its emphasis on self-mastery, acceptance of fate, and cultivation of virtue resonated deeply with subsequent generations, shaping the ethical and moral fabric of Western civilization. Yet despite the significance of these ancient scrolls, their journey from excavation to elucidation was fraught with challenges. The delicate nature of the charred parchment, coupled with centuries of neglect and decay, posed formidable obstacles to scholars seeking to unlock their secrets. Numerous attempts to unfurl the scrolls and decipher their contents met with frustration and disappointment as the fragile artifacts crumbled at the slightest touch. It wasn't until the advent of modern technological advancements that the true potential of these ancient texts could be realized. Through the application of cutting-edge techniques such as X-ray imaging and artificial intelligence, scholars were able to penetrate the veil of obscurity and glean insights from the enigmatic scrolls without risking further damage. This marriage of ancient wisdom and contemporary innovation heralded a new chapter in the ongoing saga of human discovery and enlightenment. In the illustrious year of 2023, the corridors of academia resounded with the clarion call of innovation and discovery as esteemed computer science savant Professor Brent Seals joined forces with enterprising entrepreneurs Nat Friedman and Daniel Gross to inaugurate a veritable odyssey into the annals of antiquity. This monumental endeavor, conceived in the crucible of intellectual fervor, heralded the genesis of a visionary competition aimed at deciphering the cryptic lexicon enshrined within ancient scrolls. Armed with cutting-edge technology and an unwavering resolve, this formidable consortium, in collaboration with an array of distinguished research centers, unveiled a trove of tomographic images depicting the weathered parchment, accompanied by a sophisticated software suite designed to facilitate its examination. Thus, the stage was set for a global symphony of ingenuity, beckoning artisans, technologists, and scholars from every corner of the globe to converge upon the nexus of discovery 
and unravel the secrets of antiquity. Embracing the mantle of innovation, participants embarked upon a quest of Herculean proportions, laboring tirelessly to fashion an artificial intelligence-driven apparatus capable of deciphering the arcane inscriptions adorning the ancient scrolls. Propelled by the promise of intellectual glory and material reward, these intrepid souls embarked upon a journey fraught with challenges and rife with possibility. With the allure of a lavish cash prize dangling tantalizingly before them, a fervent spirit of competition gripped the collective consciousness, spurring participants to push the boundaries of technological innovation to ever greater heights. In a triumph of intellect and perseverance, it was revealed in due course that the laurels of victory were claimed by a triumvirate of enterprising students, Yusef Nader, Luke Ferrator, and Julian Schilliger. Through their indefatigable efforts and unyielding determination, they succeeded in unfurling the enigmatic veil, enshrouding the ancient scrolls, resurrecting over 2,000 characters from the annals of history. Such a monumental achievement, representing a remarkable 5% of the corpus of one of the sacred scrolls, elicited widespread acclaim and admiration from the scholarly community at large. In recognition of their singular feat of intellectual prowess and technological acumen, these intrepid adventurers were duly rewarded with a princely sum totaling 700,000 United States dollars, cementing their place in the pantheon of history as champions of discovery and innovation. As the dust settled and the echoes of triumph reverberated throughout the hallowed halls of academia, attention turned towards the sacred text itself, its ancient wisdom poised to illuminate the corridors of contemporary thought. Speculation ran rife among scholars and sages alike, with conjecture abounding that the venerable philosopher Philodemus may stand as the esteemed author of the deciphered tome. A staunch adherent of the Epicurean school of thought, Philodemus extolled the virtues of pleasure and the pursuit of happiness, advocating for the cultivation of well-being and the enjoyment of life's myriad pleasures. Within the auspicious opening fragment of the text, Philodemus expounded upon the delicate interplay between scarcity and abundance, positing that the intrinsic value of rare commodities does not necessarily eclipse that of their more abundant counterparts, a timeless axiom resonating with contemporary relevance. As the embers of discovery continued to smolder, and the sands of time inexorably marched onward, the hallowed halls of academia brimmed with anticipation and excitement. With the fabled Villa Papyrus at Herculaneum standing as a veritable fount of ancient wisdom, the prospect of unraveling further enigmas beckoned with irresistible allure, as scholars and enthusiasts alike embarked upon a relentless quest for knowledge and enlightenment. The world stood poised on the precipice of discovery, poised to unlock the secrets of bygone eras and illuminate the path towards a brighter future. Subscribe to our channel to stay abreast of the latest developments, ensuring that you remain at the vanguard of historical discovery and scholarly discourse.